Well, next up, Joe Sells of Pinterest County always wanted to own a grocery store, but he figured he needed a gimmick of some kind to get tourists to come in. Well, Teresa Bush went there to discover Joe's secret to success, a card game called Pig. Forbes General Store sits in a cozy, picturesque valley on curvy Highway 127 in northern Fentress County. The store operates in its original structure, only the floors have been replaced. Built in 1892 and on the National Register of Historic Places, the building has served the community as a post office, feed mill, lumber mill, even a pharmacy. My, my dad had a store in, back in, i say in the 30s and 40s. And I just called, I always wanted to follow my daddy's footsteps. Joe Sells began his journey in 1984. That's when he and his family decided to continue a type of business that's becoming rare. A country store is hard to make it anymore, much less just starting one up. You know, of course, this has been an old building and I've been hearing on it, and but it's a country. You don't know, a country store is hard to. The first few years were tough. The shelves filled with canned foods, the bins of nails, the chips, drinks, and candy bars were simply not enough. He had to offer more, especially for all the tourists who found his store on their scenic drive through the county. A lot of cars stopping. You know, a lot, a lot of cars would stop and come in and look around. I had nothing for them to buy. And they would say, uh, hey, you got a, a, we really like this old country store, you know. I said, well, I've got to do something. Because, because the people were stopping and I had nothing, so. Joe had a sweet brainstorm, the idea to make fudge, and it worked. In fact, it keeps the store afloat financially. The fudge was, it's, see, I, I'll make it myself. I don't have no middleman. You see, I'll eliminate that man, so I'll make, make a pretty good profit on it. And we do, like last year, we done 4,400 pounds. Oh, wow. My biggest year was 6,600 pounds, which I had a big bank order. Uh, a bank down in Cookville ordered uh, 2,000 pounds. It's good, real good. <laughs> During the tourist season, Joe keeps these glass cases chock full of the tasty treat. Tempt your taste buds with Rocky Road, vanilla pecan, chewy praline, chocolate pecan, peanut butter, and there's even one called Tequila Sunset. I, I buy all my ingredients from New York. I'm not going to tell you no stories. But I think the, everybody says, oh, this is real good fudge. Well, the, we use Pure Mountain Spring Water, which we don't use a lot of water, but we use some. If that don't help, if that don't make it taste better, I don't know what it could be, but. While the fudge keeps the cash register ringing, the thing that brings an even bigger smile to Joe's face can be found in the back of the store. Every single day of the year, Joe's friends belly up to two tables and play a card game called Pig. He's killing us. Play that. So you could say this is the local pig house. Pig is similar to Rook. It's played with a regular deck of cards. Players choose teams, then bid on how many tricks they think they'll get. Damn. The fives are called pig cards, and you want a lot of those because they count the most points, five each. There are 16 points per hand, and the team to reach 52 first wins. Jim Buck has been playing the game since he was a little boy. Nobody really knows where it came from, but I've got relatives in Indiana and Ohio, and anybody that knows how to play the game, it originates back to here, either Fentress or Pickey County. And the game even varies from house to house. Here, in this little area here, we play with one joker. In Birdstown, Tennessee, they play with no jokers. And in Static, which is halfway between, they play with two jokers. After watching for a while and going over the official rules, which includes a cheat sheet for us beginners, the regulars made a place for me at the table. You're playing this one. Okay, pick your cards up. One, two, three, four, five. Throw that in the way, it's no good. You gotta keep six. One, two, three, four, five. And I'd keep one of these. Okay, now we bid nine. You got a pig? Uh-oh. He's shaking his head no. He's shaking his head. Yes! Yes, woo! Good deal. So he's got the main jack, so he played. Way to Famous go. play. And that's, We're winning, That's right. next boss, yes. yes no, 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 no. Oh, no, not that one. Mm -hmm. that's, a, mm -hmm. that's a good that's a trump. one. I keep that one. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so your first game you've ever played in your life, you made 16 and they made zero. It, see how easy that is? <laughs> and I'm playing the champion. Playing Pig has gotten so popular here, the store hosts the World Championship Tournament. It's held the last Saturday of February. 
we want to spread the word of the game. Like I said, it's such a fun game. There's, there's so much tragedy in the United States anymore. This is a great family game. But be warned, playing pig comes with a price. It's addictive. It's addictive. They, they have a lot of fun, and, and you know, it's just a good, wholesome thing for them to do, you know. And, and we're hoping that they grow and grow and grow. We're hoping that we'll have to go somewhere else and play pig, that we'll have so many that we'll have to branch out and then come back here and have the playoff or something, you know, in the store. From juicy burgers and hot tots to beans, potatoes, and cornbread, folks around here don't have to go to town for some good grub. Besides, it would take away from the card game. Now what are you going to do? Hey, three, I'll catch that off, Jack. Better get you two and get out. Uh-oh. All right, I smell bacon frying. That's pig talk. Players say it when they are winning. Somebody does win and somebody does lose. After all, it is a game. But that's not why these folks come in day after day. It's about fellowship, fun, and helping a friend keep an old-timey general store alive. It's probably done more than I expected. It really has. I mean, I, I really didn't expect to do what I've done. I mean, I really didn't expect to do what I've accomplished here. It really, it really, that's done more than I ever dreamed of. Thank you.